Little Rock police investigating a stabbing that left one man dead and another man behind bars. Good evening and thank you for joining us on KRK4 News at 10. I'm Stephanie Sharp. It all happened last night at a sober living home. KRK 4's Rochelle Turner speaking with people in that area. And Rochelle, what did they tell you? Well, Stephanie, good afternoon to you. Several people didn't want to go on camera, but they tell us crime happens way too often around 12th Street. It's a spot that's nestled in the Little Rock community. Massive cuts off 12th Street, right across from 12th Street Station. Inside this shop along 12th Street, you'll find Paris Wilson doing what he loves. I keep it real. Yeah, I say, you know, do what I got to do. Wilson has been cutting hair for nearly 10 years and has seen a lot in his time here. I was raised up over here, so it didn't slow down to me. But things were different Friday night. Police found 61-year-old Donald Colbert suffering from cuts outside what police call a faith-based sober living house on West 13th Street. Officers tried to perform CPR on Colbert, but he died at the hospital. This is un unfortunate, but this type of stuff that go on all the time. But see, what we need is like somebody that's like really hands-on over here with everybody. During the investigation, police arrested this man, 64-year-old Thornell Burrell. He's facing murder charges. Ain't nothing ever too serious to really take somebody's life. It's the city's 22nd homicide this year, and something Wilson hopes will stop. I want everybody to win and be happy, so it's like, when stuff go on, of course, I'll be sad about it. Now, Burrell is charged with first-degree murder and being held without bond. There were no immediate details about what led up to the stabbing. Back to you.